Hi, you guys. Happy Tuesday night. Okay, I realize that it's like 1030 at night, okay? And I should probably be a little quieter, but I feel like 1030 is the new 830 these days, don't you think, for this new quarantine we've got going on? Well, it's not actually new. It's kind of old now. Anywho, so I was just making some like little treats for the kids because their bedtime. Hi, Carol. How are you? I lost my voice. I'm not sick. I just have laryngitis because I was talking so much all weekend long. Talk, 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 talk. I know you guys kind of find that hard to believe that I was talking, but I was just talking just a little bit. Hi, Jimmy. How are you? What's happening? Hey, David. What's going on? Okay. So, and I realized that I'm a little crooked. I'm slightly crooked. What's happening, Jimmy? But this, 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 this camera, okay, I don't have it perfectly placed and it could actually fall. So I am not going to mess with this on any level because I've never actually gone live in this kitchen. So I had a little technical difficulties, but that's okay. Bear with me. We got this. Okay. We got this. If we can handle a quarantine, we can handle a phone problem. So I'm a little crooked, but maybe I'll just stand crooked and then I'll look even. <laughs> Anywho, okay, let me tell you something. So, I was making these treats for the kids. Hey, John, how are you? What's happening? David, what's going on? It's so good to hear from you guys. I miss you guys. Since my kitchen burned down, I am like a little off track with my videos these days, but I'm getting back on track, okay? I'm getting back on track. So, it's all right. I haven't been on, like, I we none of us are, like, on the same path. Like, we're all out of our routines, right? We're totally all out of our routines. I miss you, too. I miss everybody, and I miss our nightly dinners together, our nightly keto chats. I miss everything about it. So, that's why I was just thinking right now. I was, like, sitting here going, I'm making these treats for the kids for breakfast in the morning. And actually, if they make it to breakfast, because I feel like my kids are wide awake right now. They're awake all night. Whose kids are awake basically all night long? As everyone, I think everybody's awake all night long. Like I'm telling you, I think 10.30 p.m. is the new 8.30 p.m., truly. Because we're all off a little bit, right? We're all here and there and a little bit everywhere, right? So I felt like it was okay to go live at 10.30 because Still like not bedtime maybe almost bedtime if you've got like little little kids I don't know but I got a kid that I can hear he's playing a game he's like communicating with somebody in Russia right now I don't know what's going on as long as he's being nice and safe we're good right we're good it's a win moms it's a win moms and dads we've got this okay so yes I lost my voice but it's only because I was talking so much over the weekend so here's the deal I was making these treats and they're so super simple they're healthy, they're keto friendly, they're low carb, they fall into all those categories, right? They're nutritious and delicious and the kids will love them. I'm gonna show you right now, I've got a few, I've got most of them in the freezer right now. But this is what they look like. They don't look like too much, but clearly you can tell that there's peanut butter, right? Like you can tell that there's peanut butter. Okay, they're super tasty is all I have to say. They don't look like too much, but I was gonna roll them in some cocoa powder and you could even roll them or you could put like nuts on the outside depending on like what your kids like or you could put coconut on the outside so i have organic coconut chips right here you can put these on a plate and then roll them through the coconut chips or you can roll them through the cocoa butter or you can roll them through the possibilities are limitless let me just tell you right now so you could roll them through little mini chocolate chips here i've got Lily's baking chips, which we all know, keto friendly baking chips, right? Hi, Carmela. How are you, gorgeous? How's everything? So, I made a treat for the kids tonight, and I just wanted to show everybody that these are super tasty and delicious and actually really, really simple. Okay, this is how simple it is. Let me tell you. So, you need peanut butter. All natural peanut butter is my suggestion. No sugar in your peanut butter, especially during quarantine time. But never, I never suggest any sugar in your peanut butter. So no sugar peanut butter. This is the peanut butter that I purchase here where I live in Chicago. If anybody, if anybody lives around me, I got this at Jewel. You can also get this at, they don't sell it at Walmart. You can get it at Jewel. You can get it at 
where else do they have it? They might have it at Whole Foods. I don't know. I don't shop at Whole Foods. I go to Whole Foods when I need something, but I don't shop there because I would be broke. I would be really broke. <laughs> Let's be real. So I shop at Jewel most of the time and Walmart. Those are my two stores. Okay. So I got this at Jewel. Good night, John. See you later. Have a great evening. Thanks for coming on. So it's a half of a cup of sugar, excuse me, a half of a cup of sugar-free peanut butter. This is where we start. Hey Jay, what's going on? So a half of a cup of sugar-free peanut butter. And then you do a quarter of a cup of slivered almonds. Oh, what just happened to my phone? I don't know. So thanks Jay, so are you. You're awesome sauce. Are you boxing tonight? So almonds, <laughs> I thought I held up something else. So it's a half of a cup of slivered almonds. So you've got your peanut butter, you got your peanut butter, you got your peanut butter, let me show you the label. You've got your slivered almonds, right? And then you do one teeny tiny teaspoon of sugar-free cocoa powder. So one tiny teaspoon, this is a huge teaspoon, right? So you do like one teaspoon, you don't need too much, you really don't, of cocoa powder. And then I used, okay, the uh, Keto Protones, which is chocolate flavored. It's chocolate, it's chocolate flavored ketones plus MCT oil plus protein powder. That's like a, a mouthful. It's a threefer. This is a threefer. Super nutritious and delicious. If you don't have the chocolate protones at home, you can just use like protein powder, any protein powder, right? Chocolate protein powder if you want them to taste like chocolate, right? So chocolate protein powder, but this is the chocolate protein powder with MCT and ketones if you want to stay in ketosis that I suggest you use if you're making these and you have it on hand, right? So one scoop of this or one packet, depending on if you have the container or if you have the packets, right? One scoop. Then, like I said, you've got a teaspoon of the cocoa powder and you've got a half a cup of your no sugar peanut butter, no sugar peanut butter, and you've got your oh, slivered almonds, your slivered almonds, okay? So you basically, literally, not basically, this is what you do, and I'll show you right here. You put them in your food processor. This is my food processor. I just did this. Hey, Scott, hey, Chester, what's happening? David, what's going on? Give me a high five. How are you guys? It's good to see everybody. So I put them in my handy dandy food processor right here. You blend it up, super blend it up. It's really easy, it takes a second. I actually showed it on my stories. If you wanna go check it out, me actually doing it. So I showed it on my stories and you blend it and then you scoop it out and you roll it into a ball so it looks like this, right? You roll it into a ball and then you pop it in the refrigerator or the freezer. So I suggest you put it in the freezer if you want to eat it faster. If you're going to eat it tomorrow morning, just put it in the refrigerator. It's, it'll be cold. It'll be fabulous. And like I said, you can roll them, okay? Make them as big or as small as you want. doesn't matter. And then you could actually, if you want to, you know, spice it up a bit, you could roll it in some, in some coconuts, in some coconuts, like shredded coconuts, right? Or you could roll it in some chocolate chip cookies, some chocolate chip cookies, some chocolate chip cookies, some chocolate chips, Lily's chocolate chips. Remember, no sugar. Sugar is no good for you, right? So Lily's chocolate chips are the, are the chocolate chips that I suggest, or unsweetened coconut, right? Literally, you could roll them in chia seeds, you could roll them in flaxseed, you could roll them in unsweetened cocoa powder. The possibilities are literally limitless. Scott, I didn't see you on Saturday. I am sad. Mm. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. We're going to do it again. I'm actually going to be live tomorrow night from Cattleman's. It was supposed to be tonight, but technical difficulties at Cattleman's. So I will be live tomorrow night at Cattleman's if anybody wants to win a free, I don't even know what we're making tomorrow night, but it's going to be a free something and it's going to be a free edible something and it's going to be non-keto and it's going to be delicious. And there's probably going to be a buttered brioche bun in it somewhere, somehow. I'm not exactly sure what we're making. But it's going to be good. It's going to be super tasty. You can count on that. Plus, I have to give away all the free slabs of ribs from the people that came on Saturday. So, Scott, tomorrow, tune in to Cattleman's. And anybody else who's on here who knows what I'm talking about, I'll be at Cattleman's tomorrow night around 7, 8 o'clock-ish. So, I won't be this late, I promise. 
Anywho, this is what I'm making, or this is what I'm serving anyways, to my kids for breakfast tomorrow. And if they last, I know Scott, nine keto, but Scott, you love keto. Just say it, I love keto, I love it. You love keto. Cattleman's gives away popcorn, and popcorn's not keto. Hi Duke, how are you? Duke, you look really good, you're healing really well, I like it, thank you so much. I like it, I love all your messages, thank you. So, um, who wants to try this? Like I said, the possibilities are limitless. If you look at my stories, it's gonna show me blending everything up, it's super simple, anyone can do this, and truly, if you have almond butter, use almond butter. If you have peanut butter, almond butter, cashew butter, whatever kind of butter you've got at home, throw it in your food processor. If you have a food processor, use a blender. You can hand mix this too. So think outside the box, peeps. Think outside the box. You could use, like the possibilities are limitless and you don't have to roll it in anything. I'm just giving you more suggestions to make it fun for the kids. You could actually roll it in sprinkles. That would be super fun for them. My kids would really like it and they would think that it's super Easter friendly and fun and all that goes along with that. Carol, how are you? All right. Oh, and there's like two carbs in each one of these. Okay, FYI, did I tell you that? There's two carbs. Wait, I wrote it down. There's two carbs. There's 0 0.8 fiber. There's 2.6 grams of protein. And there's 5.6 grams of fat. Keto friendly. Keto friendly is all I'm saying. But they don't taste keto. They taste like, they taste super delicious. They taste like they're full on sugar. And good night, David. So nice to see you. That's it. That's all I got. I know you guys are tired. I know everyone's got to go to bed. I'm going to try and get my kids to go to bed. I'm going to try and get my kids to go to bed right now. If anybody didn't see this, they can see it in the morning for breakfast. How about that? All right. Thanks so much, you guys, for tuning in tonight. Happy Tuesday. I hope everybody's having a fabulous quarantine Tuesday. And I posted the recipe above or below, wherever that is. I posted it. If you have any questions, as always, give me a call, shout it out, send me a message. I'm happy to answer anytime. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great evening. I'll talk to you later.